Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that Is the following statement true? Give reasons. 4x minus 10y is equal to 14 and 21x minus 14y is equal to 56 are respectively the regression equations of x on y and y on x. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is, the regression equation of y on x is given in the form y is equal to mx plus c where coefficient of x represents the regression coefficient of y on x that is dyx. Here the coefficient of x is m so m is the regression coefficient of y on x and it is given by dyx. Secondly the regression equation of x on y is x is equal to my plus c where coefficient of y represents the regression coefficient of x on y that is dxy so here the coefficient of y is m so m is the regression coefficient of x on y that is given by dxy or you can say that the slope of the lines in these equations is known as the regression coefficient. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. In the question we have to check that is this statement true that is these lines are respectively the regression equations of x on y and y on x. Now in these type of questions when the equations of two lines are given to us and we have to find that which one is the line of regression of y on x and x on y then in the first step we choose arbitrarily one of the two given lines as the line of regression of y on x and other as the line of regression of x on y. Then in the second step we find dyx that is the coefficient of regression of y on x and dxy that is the regression coefficient of x and y and in the third step we obtain the product of these regression coefficients and the product of these regression coefficients is equal to r square where r is the coefficient of correlation as r square is always less than or equal to 1 therefore if we obtain the product of these regression coefficients as less than or equal to 1 then our assumption is correct otherwise the other line and not the one assumed by us will be the regression line of y on x 
Now we will proceed with the solution of this question. Here this line is given as the regression equation of x and y and this is given as the regression equation of y on x. Now the regression equation of x on y is 4x minus 10y is equal to 14 which implies dividing throughout y2 it will be 2x minus 5y is equal to 7. This further implies 2x is equal to 5y plus 7 which implies x is equal to 5 by 2 into y plus 7 by 2. Now using this result which is given in the key idea, the regression coefficient of x on y which is equal to bxy is equal to the coefficient of y in this equation, let it be equation number 1 and the coefficient of y here is 5 by 2. Therefore, bxy is equal to 5 by 2. Or you can say that bxy is equal to the slope of the line 1 and the slope of the line 1 is 5 by 2. Now, The regression equation of y on x is 21x minus 14y is equal to 56 which implies dividing throughout by 7 it will be 3x minus 2y is equal to 8. Further this implies 2y is equal to 3x minus 8 which further implies y is equal to 3 by 2 into x minus 8 by 2 and let it be equation number 2. Now using this result which is given in the key idea the regression coefficient of y on x is given by BYx which is equal to coefficient of x in this equation which is 3 by 2. Therefore, BYx is equal to 3 by 2 which is the slope of the line 2. Now, R square is equal to BYx into bxy now bxy is equal to 5 by 2 and dyx is equal to 3 by 2 so this is equal to 3 by 2 into 5 by 2 which is equal to 15 by 4 and 15 by 4 is greater than 1 but r square is always less than equal to 1. Therefore, the given statement is false. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.